Yom Kippur marks a time of reflection and hope for the Jewish New Year and caps what are known as the 10 days of awe or repentance that starts with Rosh Hashanah. This is a period of introspection for Jews the world over as they approach God and ask Him to forgive the sins of the previous year while also hoping to be blessed for a good year to come. Rabbi Mendy Cohen of the Shabbat Jewish Center of Southern Utah spoke with St. George News about the significance and origin of the Jewish holiday. The holiday of Yom Kippur is a Jewish holiday. It's the holiest day in the Jewish calendar. What happens in Yom Kippur? Yom Kippur is called the Day of Atonement. The Day of Atonement is a time when we reflect back on our past year and we're looking forward to our coming year and we're asking God to forgive us for any sins that we may have committed in the past year. Why do we do it on this day? For the past few days since Rosh Hashanah, which was the Jewish New Year's, all the way until Yom Kippur are called the 10 days of repentance. So Rosh Hashanah is the first day, and Yom Kippur is the last day. And on these days, God is inscribing in His book to see how life would look for every individual. Will you have a healthy life? Will you have a happy life, a successful life? Will you be prosperous? Will you have blessings? And what we have to ensure is that we have a clean slate with God, And that's why these days are called the 10 days of repentance in order to be able to connect to God and say, I'm sorry for the mistakes that we have done and asking God to forgive us for the mistakes. And what happened was when the Jewish people received the Torah from Mount Sinai, they committed the famous sin of the golden calf. And after the sin of the golden calf, what happened was the Jewish people were not a good place. So Moses went up to Mount Sinai to ask God to forgive them. After two sets of 40 days, two periods of 40 days, God forgave the Jewish people. And when Moses came down from the mountain, that was on the 10th day of the month of Tishrei. And that's the day of Yom Kippur. And ever since then, from that first time of Yom Kippur, Until today, we always celebrate Yom Kippur. This year, Yom Kippur starts at sundown September 24th and continues into Monday, September 25th. The Shabbat Jewish Center of Southern Utah is holding Yom Kippur services during this time and is extending an invitation to Jews of any background in Southern Utah and beyond to participate. For more information about the holiday and Shabbat services, read the story. This is Maury Kessler reporting for St. George News, your number one source for local news.